Hi guys, uh, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about audio. As you guys know, I record my audio on my video mic go. So uh, just to refresh your memory, this is the video mic go. Usually for my videos, I also attach a dead cat along with it. So basically, I love it so much that I've got two of these. One of it is being used on my A6400 and one of them is a spare, which is this one. But today we're going to be talking about an even smaller mic that I can bring around. So it's this Ceremonic SRXM1. Basically, it's a really tiny mic compared with my Rode Video Mic Go. So I've been wondering if there's an even smaller solution to be able to have my audio recorded. So we're gonna unbox this and have a look what's inside. So here it is. Okay, to show you guys how small it is, this is the size of my palm and the mic itself. So now it's probably about 7 cm tall. So it's really smaller than I thought, and this allows me to be able to tilt it forward, forward, or tilt it back. Now I'm going to be recording on this different camera to be able to show you guys the different sound quality it has. Now I'm going to take my A72 to be able to test out the difference. So this is my A72. So usually when I vlog, I attach my Rode Video Mic Go and it will look something like this. So just imagine I'm using my A6400 and I'm vlogging like this. So it looks a little chunky and a little unsafe if like, I were to hit something right at the side walking around and it probably creates a lot more attention. So now I'll be attaching the mic over to here. And look how small it really is. It's barely visible. So when I vlog, it's like I'm not even carrying the mic at all. So let's test the sound quality. Okay, testing one, two, testing one, two. Okay, so this is the audio quality coming out of my A72 with my Ceremonic XRM1 mic, I think. So this, I know this is in rather quiet room. So this is the audio quality that's coming out from it. Okay, so going back to the box, basically it just have this small little sponge thing. I got along a small third party dead cat. So we're gonna see how it works as we bring out my camera. I'm gonna attach this mic to my A6400 and we're gonna bring it out. So we're gonna have a brief review on how this mic goes and the quality you get out of this. So follow me and let's go. Hi guys, so this is an audio test with my Rode Video Mic Go in a very noisy background. Let's switch it over. So this is a ceremonic mic in a very noisy environment. But let's check out the next one. Hi guys, so this is the Rode Video Mic Go in a normal environment. And let's switch it over to the more ceremonic mic. So what you're hearing now is a ceremonic mic in a normal environment. Okay, let's go. Okay, so now I'm going to put this very thing called a windshield on top of this and we're going to vlog and see how it sounds. It's so cute, it's like a little fur ball. Hi guys, so this is the quality of the ceremonic mic with my windshield attached to it. So this is rather a quiet place but basically you get a sensing of the quality that comes out of this. Uh, if not, let's head on back and let's give a final verdict on how this mic is. Okay guys, so after one whole day of bringing it out, I'm ready to give this little guy a verdict. So basically, this is a very good mic as it's able to not just uh, record forward, but you can turn backwards to record voiceover. So it'll be very helpful as you walk around and you are just able to turn the mic just like that. But as you guys can hear, the recording quality of the Rode Video Mic Go is still better than this. But for the quality that this guy brings for the price tag of 25 USD, it is really worth it bringing this around as this mic is really discreet compared with the Rode Video Mic. And the Rode Video Mic will likely take hits along the way as it has a huge form factor. Now, who is this mic not for? If you are somebody who is considered an audiophile or really treasures a lot in sound quality, you will definitely be able to tell the difference between this and a Rode Video Mic. The Rode Video Mic cancels a lot of the outside ambient noise, whereas this one picks it up a little bit more. 
I guess because the mic is much shorter, whereas the mic for the Rode Video Mic Go is much longer and has a more specific pickup pattern. So personally, I still see myself using this quite a lot as I would not want to break my Rode Video Mic to certain places to attract attention or places which are more narrow. So with the price tag and the value that this mic gives, it still outweighs all the other cons that I've listed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my conclusion for this little mic. If you do like, please leave down in the comments below what do you like about this video or if there are other mics that I should look at. Do leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And I'll see you in the next video.